This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Hi, good evening and welcome to Sports Saturday. I am Julian Gibson. Yesterday, former B3A's president, Dr. Bernard Nottage, was laid to rest. Leading dignitaries on hand was the Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, and also former Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Perry Gladstone Christie. He nurtured and mentored generations of athletes. The athletic success he have achieved on the world stage is due in large measure to individuals like BJ, who helped to seed and develop athletic programs that have bloomed in the international arena. There was a particular joy on his face and in his being, and deep pride when he saw our flag wavering at international competitions. BJ revamped the entire Carifta Games and turned it what it is into what it is today with a flag that was designed by Gus Cooper, with arrangements that are so extraordinary that the games were elevated on the basis that national teams from each of the countries in the Caribbean would nurture their athletes and give them the opportunity to be the best they could. And the countdown is on for the Youth Commonwealth Games. One, two, three, three days and counting. Work crew getting to Thomas A. Robinson Stadium all dolled up. No, they are not registering for the general elections. That's all finished and done with. They're trying to get their accreditation straight for the games. And things are falling into place. As you can see, Julian, everywhere around me, someone's doing something, getting everything up. Tents are going up, banners are going up, everyone's getting accredited. Volunteers are coming in by the hundreds so far I've seen, and there's crowded. Uh, you can't even get in the door, so everything's going good. Athletes are training, practicing, warming up. We have countries that have arrived already and just gearing up for the games. You tired yet, or are you energized and ready to go? I'm on fumes, but luckily I don't have to run a race. The athletes do, but I'm going to make sure that they get to their race and, you know, they're well ready and prepared and ready to win a school. And yesterday at the Breezes Resort, the British are here, the British are here. No, they are not coming, but they are here preparing for their team arrival. Our Bahamas time is very different to English time. <laughs> so that's always a challenge, just takes some time to getting uh, used to working at a different pace, I guess. Um, but now that we're on the ground, things are a lot easier. Um, we are working with a number of local suppliers um, where we've procured all our stationary medical supplies, physio beds, um, transport, uh, clothing, signage, everything that we've done locally. So we've worked with them over the last two or three months and we've collected that all over the last few days and that's gone fine. Um, so yeah, hopefully everything's ready to go for the team when they come in on Sunday. Now yesterday we also had a chance to catch up to some of the swimmers from Scotland. They were testing out our pool. They swim the 50 free, 50 back, 100 back and 100 free. But you have a lot of events to uh, take part in. The more I swim, the, the better I kind of feel. I uh, get a feel of the pool, get a feel of the water, get a feel of the competition. So I'm looking forward to each one of them. I've been working like really hard, especially like the last couple of weeks. We've just come back from the European Juniors, which are in Israel. And then we've had to get back into training ready for this meet. So how many uh, medals we can expect from you? Gold, silver, bronze or a ribbon? Um, I don't, I don't know really. I'm like based off the results from like last, like in Samoa. Then hopefully, like maybe like medal. But I don't know. We'll see. And finally, in sports, the countdown is on for the Grand Bahama Regatta. They will sail next weekend at Tino Beach. This year, our theme is rebuilding our sailing culture. It's a legacy, and we are honoring Mr. Canard Bethel, who is a known boat builder and also a public retired civil servant. On July 28th to the 30th, Tino Beach will come alive once again, and we'll be hosting a C-class series of boats, um, particularly between 12 and 15 we are projected to host, and as well as hosting the sailors, we are also having an uh, onshore entertainment. And shifting the basketball come July 24th, the Jeff Rogers Basketball Camp will be celebrating 30 years. Let me first thank God for allowing me to be able to stick with this program for, for 30 years. 
and I'm excited because uh, a lot of the NBA players who've been coming in the past, they'll be back this year. Uh, a lot of my uh, campers who now would be 40 who used to come to the camp when they were like 10 and some were five, their kids in the program. So I'm excited, you know, to have something posi positive to give back to the community. It just gives you a great feeling to do something positive, you know, for our young people in our country. Well, that's all the time for Sports Saturday. Once again, I'm Julian Gibson. Special thanks, as always, to my hardworking cameraman, Ashley Taylor. Stay tuned. Your better forecast is still to come.